All right. We are here today uh, to talk about the triple threat of how a VA buyer can win in today's market. And let's face it, the VA buyer has been underserved with the amount of cash deals that have taken place in the last few years. That ends today. Uh, this is Ron Wojcikarski with Real Estate in a Nutshell. And today I brought in the best people I know in the business to help us out. I brought in the score team at USA Mortgage. I've got Steve Strick, the leader of everything good over there. Welcome, Steve. And Lawrence Savota, a top-notch A1 loan officer, the one that gets it all done. Uh, so, guys, welcome to today. Uh, we're going to talk about VA. Steve, I know that the VA buyer and the veterans are a big thing for you as part of your passion. Uh, how did you get this thing all started with uh, your platform for veterans? <clears throat> Sure. Well, Ron, thanks for having us on Real Estate in a Nutshell. We're, we're honored to be here uh, with you to talk about this great topic, and I agree with you. And I, I agree that they've been underserved. And I, I've thought that for a long time, and uh, a few years back, I actually created a model. And the model was for military members that PCS, but that model doesn't stop with military members that PCS. It also bleeds into our veterans. Um, it bleeds into the military spouses. So this topic for me is near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, I was talking to some people. I ran into some people at a conference in New York City, and they built a company that helps military members PCS. They help them on the real estate side of it. And they were looking for a mortgage partner. And frankly, I, I knew quite a bit about the community, but I didn't know what I know today. And what I know today is, is I'm very happy to be part of it. I'm very happy to have created a mortgage model that is specifically for military members, uh, the PCS and veterans. Um, and just recently I've actually joined, I've uh, been asked to join a, a committee to, to fundraise for homeless veterans and sit on the board of, of a, uh, a very, very amazing charity called Veterans Community Project. You know, Steve, that's, uh, it's really interesting to hear you talk about how, how it evolved over time. But let's face it, you work at a bank and some people look at banks as, uh, big bad banks going to make some money, but this is in your heart and this is passion. And you, I know there's a lot of stories out there, but has something come to mind of someone that's been able to have been benefited from this program? Yeah. I mean, I can sit here and tell you stories all day. How much time do we have? But you know, when, when we got into this, Ron, I noticed a lot of things that I didn't know before. And there wasn't a lot of transparency with the VA home loans. Um, there were a lot of hidden fees. There were a lot of things because you can charge up to X percent, you know, within the origination fees. So a lot of these big companies that, you know, claim to be military or veteran owned, they're not. Um, they take advantage of that. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to build a program that was very transparent. We wanted to build a program that was beneficial to the military member in a lot of different ways other than rates and fees. And what we did is we created that. So, um, you know, as far as stories are concerned, especially in the markets that we've seen in the past few years, it's all about comparing apples to apples. And you can either go with a company to where you're feeling like a transaction, or you can go with a company, which we like to pride ourselves on as being this type of company. We're relationship-based. And we're here to give back in, in many, many different ways and, and being transparent and making sure that our military members are taken care of is, uh, like I said, near and dear to our heart. Yeah, Steve, and you guys have done some amazing work. I've the ability firsthand to see some of the results of it. So hats off to you, your organization, the amazing team that you've put together and, you know, your core values, which really align with ours. And so again, I couldn't think of a better person to have on here today to kind of lead the way is this next piece for the veterans. Well, yeah, no, I, I appreciate that, Ryan. Like I said, and you've been a phenomenal partner as well. And the, the reason that we're doing this today is, is not to promote us. You know, it's not to promote you. It's it's to give back. We've said this and we've said this together. We, we were in some of the same groups. You know, it's not about competition. It's about collaboration. And if we can educate the people, um, you know, on certain things that they can take advantage of, especially – in certain markets, then that's what we're here to do. And that's why we're here today. Steve, uh, you're truly genuine about this. And I've seen, let's face it, there's somebody out there, there's people out there, they'll grab a bumper sticker from some organization, something, slap it on next to their business card and, and call it something about them 
Um, and this, this, none of this feels like it's just what's in it for Steve or what's in it for score or USA. Um, it, it truly is a way to give back and it's, it's, it's good to see. Industry yeah, needs more of this. I was taught a long time ago, it's better to make deposits than take something away. So what we're here to do is we're here to make deposits in people's lives. And, you know, whether you use us or use somebody else, let us please equip you with some information, with, with some creative ways to finance a deal in today's market that it can be extremely beneficial for our military members and veterans. It's, it's so true and it's so good. Now, Steve, I got to ask you, with, with the size and scope of your organization, you probably could choose about anybody on the planet that would want to come work with you. And we're with Lauren today, um, and I would say that, can I use the word, you, she was handpicked by you to do a certain role with the business? Would you, share with, us, would you yeah. share with us? I mean, because I think a lot of people would look at Lauren's like, how did you get that gig? Steve, yeah. could you explain how it happened a little bit? You know what, I, I, I love the story, actually. So speaking to this is, is something that is, again, near and dear to my heart because I believe things happen for a reason. Um, I really do. The good and the bad, right? So the good things make us better and the bad things make us even better than that because we learn from them. Um, but when I say things happen for a reason, Lauren was brought into my life for a reason. Um, she was actually brought into our organization uh, through another member. And over time, over a very short period of time, Lauren's light shined very, very, very bright. She's very empathetic. She's got a teaching background. And in our business, that's really unheard of. Um, one, she's very intelligent. She's beautiful. She speaks well. All those things are, are apparent. But what you can't see is that she's very empathetic for the client. She's there. She understands. She wants to educate them. So, you know, when you say that she was handpicked, she was handpicked. Uh, I mean, I literally gave her my database. And I said, look, those past clients that I used to work with that trust me, they're going to have to trust you now. And I, I could have done that for a lot of people. Lauren earned it, and uh, I couldn't be more proud of her. She's she's one of the best senior loan officers I've ever seen. It's uh, such a great story. Uh, Lauren, uh, welcome. And uh, yeah, you. No pressure. you kind of built it up to be amazing. but you. My goodness, it. yes. No, no thank stress. you. Thank, no stress, Lauren. thank you for that wonderful introduction. Um, I could not be happier to be here with uh, with both of you. Um, Steve is is a legend in the in the mortgage industry. He's helped thousands upon thousands of people. Ron, I love working with your team every day. Wise Home Team, they are a phenomenal, phenomenal agency in Florida, and I have it's been a privilege for me to work with your agents. So thank you so very much for including me today. Um, I have a little presentation here just to explain a little bit about VA loans. I do them all the time in multiple states. So um, it has been it's been wonderful working with USA Mortgage because, again, uh, so much has been modeled for me as far as care for the veteran and care for the military members and making sure that um, what we're doing here is a true benefit to the veteran themselves. So um, what's nice today is that we uh, have thought of a little model here that would just kind of, you know, explode that benefit times three. So maybe we could launch right into a little bit about what a VA loan is and, and kind of. Well, we can, but I got to ask you something. Yeah. Because um, you're not transactional uh, and you are very relationship. I've seen it firsthand and I've heard the comments. I've gotten the feedback. Look, if there's a lot of mortgage products out there. The VA loan is different, and it affects us in different ways. But when you're working with a veteran and that loan gets approved and then closed, does it feel different than perhaps some of the others? Uh, 100% different. Um, I, I could not be more honored to serve those who have served us in in so many phenomenal ways. I'm humbled to even be a part of the process. So for me to even help contribute in this very small way um, is is just the best feeling in the world. And yes, these closings are much different than than other types of closings. These are uh, an extra like yay. So yeah, the happiness is is all around in a in a VA loan closing. You know, there's a lot of ways to give back, and and, and they're all good. Some people like to write a check, show up. Some show up for the big dinner. Some mm-hmm. roll up their sleeves and they get in deep, and they get stuff done. 
Mm-hmm. And and I know that you definitely you might do all three for what I know, but you definitely do number three. You roll over sleeves and you get stuff done for them. And quite honestly, for me, just watching it all take place, we get to be a part of something wonderful that helps mm-hmm. people that served our country. And it's a small way to give back, um, but it gives me a lot of energy and, and, it, and it feels good for all, I think for all of us. It does. It really does. So for what sure. I want to ask you, let's just suppose for a minute that I was unfamiliar with what a VA loan actually is. Could you give me just a little description of what a VA loan is? Yeah, absolutely. So a VA loan is a a benefit to our military members, um, and and it's a way for them to really get into a home loan with 0% down. Uh, So it's it's just a really phenomenal loan product. Um, The fees, everything tends to be lower, so it just it's really works out for our for our military members. So, you know, it's interesting in, in the real estate space, you'll hear, oh, my good, stay away from the VA. It's hard. It's complicated. You know, all these other things. I'm thinking it's just someone who wants to buy a house and the government has stepped in to help them with a reduced down payment. Sure. The loan process is the loan process. Sure. So, so when somebody says that, um, or even Steve, Steve, you might have something to say about this. So, I do. I, you know, I, actually, I don't know what I can say on this call, but it pisses me off sometimes to where, you know, a, a real estate agent, a realtor, or possibly even a seller looks at a VA home loan program or a VA buyer as something inferior. And what I like to say to that is this is a phenomenal product that is for people that served our country that really, really deserve something special like this. In my opinion, it's the best program in the mortgage business, hands down, period. Now, for them to get slided just because it's 0% down, that, that's not fair. And if I was selling my house, I would I would definitely put them at the top of the list for multiple reasons. But one, I know the program. I know it's for people that are just as well qualified or maybe even more than your FHA or conventional buyers. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just the way it is. So um, sorry if I got a little bit passionate about that, but I think that people need to get that – negative connotation of a VA home loan being a bad thing out of their mind because in a lot of cases, they're more qualified than any of the other buyers that you're seeing. As a loan officer, I can second that because I work the numbers every day. Um, also, the VA buyers are, are disciplined. They're on top of it. I, everything right. you would need to do to be a part of a mortgage process, um, I would I would love to work with military members all day, every day. You can imagine the discipline and the intellect it takes to be a part of our military. So um, these are exceptionally qualified buyers that that has that doesn't even factor into it. So it's a wonderful product. You know, Steve, you're allowed to get as pissed off as you want over here. Quite honestly, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just thinking of this through. You know, I mean, how committed are they? I don't know. They signed up to stand in front of bullets. I'm pretty sure they can hand over some paperwork. I mean, it's. Right. They didn't deselect us. You know, mm-hmm. I only want to protect these certain people. No, they said everybody. And I, so I'm with you. You know, mm-hmm. I didn't personally serve, but a ton of people in my family have served with honor and, and pretty much every war there is. And so it's near and dear to my heart throughout my career. I've always said, you know, all right, you can't do it every time, but if there's a chance to give help in this way, you know, we should at least think about doing it. And to your mm-hmm. point, we had sold a investment property a few years back. And it came down in multiple offers. I, I don't want to badge for this, but, you know, in some way you can get back is that when it came down to the buyers, we ended up helping with the closing costs. And we could have made a little bit more money with a different buyer. But my wife, you know, Jess, we, we, it was a super short conversation, which one to accept. I mean, it was like, oh, let me think about it. Yes, we'll just take the VA. And what we do was the, the difference in the money. I mean, we all money can feel like something new is that's important. But we knew at that time that amount of money, which a pretty big chunk, was far more important to that veteran family than it was for us over the course of our life. And so we were honored to do it. And I would encourage everybody to at least give a second thought if there was competing offers, or maybe just one, to just trust in your veterans. Yeah, no, I agree. And, Ron, thank you for that. But I think it's good that you tell those types of stories because they're real. And we should be giving back. And, and you know, that again, that's why we're here today because – We've got a special program, a, a, a very creative way to finance a deal that can help our military members, you know, save some money just like you did. Yeah. Absolutely. Lauren, and Lauren had mentioned, so she put together some some slides that are going to kind of walk us through the process. Sure. And Lauren, would it be okay if I just asked a couple of questions along the way Absolutely. through your slides? Please right. do. 
Yeah. All right. Let's do this. All right. Thing. So we're going to just begin. This is Wise Home Team, USA Mortgage. Um, I've had this question before, even from military members, so I think it doesn't hurt to go through uh, who qualifies for a VA loan. Um, you're eligible if you're an active duty service men- member or you've been honorably discharged, and there's some time frames there involved. You have to have 90 consecutive days of active service in wartime or 180, 181 days during peacetime, uh, six or more years in the National Guard or the Selected Reserve, or, um, and this comes up quite frequently as well, you're the spouse of a service member who's died in the line of duty. So um, those are just some specific requirements there. You have your DD-214, um, and also we can pull your certificate of eligibility to just see, see where you stand there. And uh, those are kind of just the basics on who would qualify. So when you say, you know, we, real estate lending, we have all these acronyms. So DD-214. Right. So that's the paperwork that that explains uh, why they were discharged or what what was the terms of service, how how long they served and when Um, it gives kind of the general overview. The COE is the certificate of eligibility. So it tells us, again, you know, what what branch they served in. It tells us. whether they're entitled, whether they're exempt from the funding fee. These are some more um, specifics to the VA loan. There's something called a funding fee that can be tacked onto the loan that's charged. Um, Some, If you have 100% disabled, you are exempt from the funding fee. So those are just some things that the certificate of eligibility tells us as the lender. Um, But again, we we can pull that for you. Um, And that's just kind of some specifics on how to see if you're qualified. Yeah, and that's really important because you can also, you know, have certain exemptions from property taxes. You know, that's, that's, that's something else. If there's a certain level of disability, a rating of disability, um, that could go into another financial benefit for, for our military members and veterans. Yeah, There's exactly. different percentages of disability, and um, all states are a little bit different, but as you move through the percentages of disability, you can have certain tax exemptions all the way up to fully exempt I from understand. property taxes. So, absolutely. So, yeah. it sounds yeah. like if if the veteran has their DD-214, and I think most have that somewhat easily accessible, yes, they um, but they don't have their certificate of eligibility, that's something that you could help with as opposed to them having to hunt it down? We do. We do not ask that you hunt it down. I'll pull it for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I think most people would have a DD-214. So that step, that scary step of the process of how to prove it, actually you've taken the risk and the, the fear out of it. Absolutely. We're here. And if in any any bit of paperwork that a veteran wasn't sure where to find, uh, our whole team can can guide you through the process. We We, we do it all day, every day. So... Uh, that's easy for us there. Okay. So we've got a DD-214. We've got an eligibility certificate. So what's next? So what's next? Um, we're going to, we, we kind of talked a little bit, Steve introduced the idea that we might have a little bit of a strategy here in order to uh, start off with a very low introductory rate for the first two years, a lower rate than what's currently available in the market. And it's called a 2-1 buy-down. Well, hold um, on. Now you're going to get me all confused here. So okay, I'm just sure. going to jump in here because yeah. now I had no money down and now I got to spend money. So where's this money coming from? Well, I'm glad you asked. This is uh, what's called a seller paid buy down. So when you are going to put a contract in on a home, you can request the seller pay for certain things. It's called seller concessions. Um, in, in the case of a VA loan, up to 4% of the purchase price can be given back to you from the seller. So in order to participate in a product like this, which is called a 2-1 buy-down, you can use these seller seller concessions in order to essentially pay for it. So, so Lauren, like, what, what brings this type of thing up? And, you know, throughout history, rates go up and they go down and they go up and they go down. Yeah. And, you know, we, we see this roller coaster. So what I'm getting is, you know, there is a certain time and place usually for this type of product. And, sure. you know, it's in a rising interest rate market or something like that, right? 100 percent. This this type of product is not needed all the time. Um, yeah. But USA Mortgage is always just on the pulse of what can help agents and what can help buyers in any given moment to have homes close. So I, 
unsurprisingly, just working for this company for a while, they swooped right in with this beautiful two one buy down product and um and we're here to explain it very much in detail so that it's really easy for everyone to get into a home and um importantly have it be a affordable, even more affordable during those first two years. That's a little bit of a stair-step process up to your final resting interest rate. Um, it's kind of just a little shelter from those interest rates right now for the first couple of years. Yeah, you can use it in any market, really. It's just to create could, a way yeah. to save some money. And, you know, Ron brought it up, and it's like, you know what, let's talk about that 2-1 buy-down. That's a great Yes, buy-down. Ron, yes, thank you for bringing it so, up. So there's, so there's something that I hear – pretty much every day in the real estate space mm-hmm. is that, okay, so what's the catch? Now I know that I can have no down payment because we've talked about that piece. Mm-hmm. And we hear seller concessions. And so the way that I would think of seller concession in plain English, the seller is going to give you money at closing and it can be up to 4% of the purchase price. So let's, let's bring some real numbers in. Yeah, let's see this. In a lot of markets. Okay. Will be 300,000. So four percent is twelve grand to work with. Okay, if yes. You've got a lot of money to work with, and I, I want to I want to really talk about that. And there's one thing in this market where the prices were skyrocketing for mm-hmm. long years. It was very hard for a veteran buyer, number one, to beat out somebody, and then two, the prices are going up faster than the appraisals because there's always a lag in the appraisals. And so today, if they go under contract, let's just use a round number of two fifty because the math works out nice. They could very well get the property under contract for 250 and will have to appraise for that. But the 4% is 10 grand. And in a market like we are, a seller may actually be willing to take 240. Mm-hmm. In that example, that's where the $10,000 spread comes. It appraises at 250, which is the contract price. There's 10,000 mm-hmm. available for the buyer to use and however they, at their discretion. And now you're suggesting that we can use some of that to bring the interest rate down to make the monthly payment smaller in the beginning. Yeah. I'll even, I'll even, you know, do you one better is, yeah, we, we can have the seller give up that 10 grand, right? Right. But in cases to where maybe the uh, values of homes haven't lagged enough yet, we might still be able to get a, a purchase price of 260 and where they can net that 250, mm-hmm. you know, that they wanted to take away. But because the appraisals, you know, were inflated for a certain period of time in certain markets, maybe we can get that 260 on the appraisal. Mm-hmm. As well. mm-hmm. So yeah, there's a bunch yes, of different ways we can skin this cat. That's right. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I apologize. These aren't my newest slides, but it still nevertheless says all the same information. So uh, please excuse all the words on here. Um, but this is just a bit and I will just kind of simplify it. It's it's talking about why we need a seller credit, why we even need this, say, ten thousand um, dollars. We don't want it to we want to be fully transparent. I always am as a loan officer. And I think this is important because, again, Ron, like you said, this is a zero percent down. So why are we talking about more money right now? Um, this is a lot of words to explain that we have to be able to cover that difference um, during those first two years where we're essentially giving you a lower rate. So what this slide is explaining is that let's say today's rates are at seven and a quarter, 7.25 percent. How a two one buy down works is the first year you're going to go two down to five and a quarter, 5.25% for the first year of your mortgage. That's your interest rate. The second year, you're one down. See a two, one buy down. So the second year, you're at 6.25% for your mortgage. By the third year, you come back up to that rate that was today's rates when we locked it in. You come back up to that 7.25% and you are there for the life of your loan. It cannot fluctuate after that. It's not going to go up or down. It's not like an arm or anything like that. You're not subject to current market conditions once your two years is up. It's safe. But it's just a way for you to have a lower interest rate for those first two years. So you're going 525 6.25, and then at 7.25 for the rest. Now, the question becomes who's paying for this, right? Because the investor has to be essentially, you know, we're, we're giving lower rates for the first two years. This is what this slide is explaining. 
is that we have to make up the difference in that cost. So the second, it would not make sense for the buyer to pay for this. So <clears throat> that's why we get a seller concession. So if you kind of go down to that second paragraph there, it says the year one difference in payment between 7.25% and 5.25% is $378 a month. So you can see how climbing interest rates really affect people. To go from a 5.25 to a 7.25, that's 500 or $378 a month. So you extrapolate that out to 12 months, that's $4,536 a year. That's the difference in year one. Year two, remember it goes up to, it goes to 6.25. That difference in payment is $194 a month or $2,328 a year. You add those two numbers together and the total amount needed to cover 100% of that buy down is $6,864. We need to be able to cover that in seller concessions in order to make this make sense, right? So, and then this says, or 2.288 points. That Those are loan terms. Points are 1%. Each point is about 1%. So when you come down to my little start area, we say typically 2% of the purchase price is needed in seller credit to go towards these things. Um, and the borrower will break even. So that's kind of how it works a little bit. But on a VA loan, we can have up to 4% in seller concessions. You know, two things jumped off the page to me. Mm -hmm. The first one is, under this program, a VA buyer, on their first year, they can save $378 a month. Yes. It's huge. 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 And if you think of someone that would benefit from this, let's suppose that you bought a car a couple of years ago and the payment is 400 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. You could comfortably make that mortgage payment and the car payment. And over the next couple of years, if it's paid off, by the time you get to the actual, you know, the new mortgage payment, you're making it's the same amount of money. But the car is paid for right now. But $378 in an inflationary market, I mean, for some veterans, it's all the money in the world. So it's huge. You know what? You're exactly right, Ron. And it's not just this isn't creative financing. This is just smart money. Right. So like you said, you're paying off that car in the meantime. By the time the next year is up, the car's done and, and you're you're moving your money around in smart ways. It just makes sense. Mm -hmm. And you know what I also noticed? You mentioned four percent is eligible and we're hearing it in the market right now. Mm -hmm. That, you know, as opposed to multiple offers and way above the listing price, now we're hearing offers accepted below the list price. And this is where the, this program really, you know, the rubber meets the road now because now sellers are willing to entertain offers below the list price. And it's like, hey, if we offer the list price, would you play ball? Would you help us out with, with some seller concessions to help us fund this transaction? And the answer is not surprisingly, the answer is yes, more often than not now. This is huge. Yeah, it's no skin off their back to do this, and it, it's a win-win for everyone. Mm -hmm. Now, 2.28, fancy math in there. Yes. What I notice is there's still about two points left over. Now, do we lose that money, or can, what, 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 what can we use the remainder for? No, absolutely not. Um, you can use the remainder for in, for closing costs in any way that you want. So it's it just it's still baked in there. It's still available. Um, and I can talk, I want to talk, once we talk about refinances, I'm going to talk a little bit more about you don't ever lose that money, um, even if you were to refinance to a lower rate. So just know that that money is just there for the buyer. It's there for the veteran. Um, it's not going away if you were to refinance, and I'll explain a little bit more about what that means. But, yes, if there is extra money, um, let's say it only costs, you know, 2% something in order to do the buy-down, then you have about 2 more percent to play with to put towards other closing costs. So that could be like your insurance or any other closing costs with the transaction? Correct, yes. So it's possible, so it's possible that you could buy the house with no money down, mm -hmm. if I'm hearing you correctly, and – you get the seller to pay for your 2-1 buy-down so you can save, in this example, almost $400 a month in payment, and the rest could be used towards closing costs. You could legitimately have no money out of pocket or very little at closing for all these things to happen. You are, you got it. It feels yep. like a pretty big win. It's crazy, right? I mean, you could have all of your closing costs, your taxes and insurance, um, any of those things paid for, plus a 2% lower interest rate than the market. That's 
it's, it's huge. And, you know, we've, ex- we've all experienced this. And there's times we feel like we're introducing something to the market is brand new. The fact is it's been on the books. But, you know, when preparation and opportunity meet, this it's the right time for this. Exactly. Yes. This is not, this is not a shiny new toy. This isn't something that, that we just dreamed up. This is something that has existed, um, in the past, but nevertheless, uh, we make sure to bring it to the forefront right at the right time. Um, and so that's why we're here talking about it. I mean, the last thing we want to do is introduce something that would be risky to the veterans. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. Nope. This is, this is a safe, like I said, this is a very well known, um, strategy product, um, and it's a win-win all around. So, yep, yeah, there's there's no risk involved here. Like I said, well once known. you, I think yes. it's well written. I'm not sure it's well known. I think it's part of the reason we're here today. <laughs> well, I, yes, I, I feel it's my duty to get the word out. Well known, but you know, not. <laughs> well, we're here to get the word out. That's for sure. Yeah, and I like that you mentioned risk because, again, like I said, if we're at seven and a quarter right now in rates, they're they're you know, their mortgage loan is not going to ever go above seven and a quarter. Once you stair step up to that rate, that's where it stays. Um, another input on the mortgage end, again, this might not matter to you as much, but we also qualify the buyer based on the highest rate. So we're not getting them into some sort of risky loan program where they can handle it at five and a quarter and can't handle it at seven and a quarter financially. Um, so every, again, this is very safe all around. It's awesome. So if we stopped right now, and we're not going to, but if we stopped right now, there'd be two huge wins. No money down and a way to make the monthly payment a lot lower, and they don't have to pay for that. Um, but but there's a third part of this strategy, right? That's not all, right? That's what you're supposed to say next, but that's not all. Okay, let me move on here. This slide, again, is explaining the savings, the savings on a 2-1 buy-down. But we'll move on to the that's not all. So what we can do. So we talked about year one, you might be at five and a quarter. Year two, you're at six and a quarter. Okay. Year three, you're at seven and a quarter. And that's where you're going to say. But what if we had a way to refinance you? And that word refinance means redo your mortgage loan before you get to that final seven and a quarter. And again, these are just placeholder rates we're throwing out. But before you get to that final rate, we refinance you, you stop there, and you're in a lower rate now for the rest of the life of the loan. And that's what's called an EARL in the VA world, an interest rate reduction loan. So now what do they have to do to qualify for that? Nothing. You don't nothing. have to requalify. Nothing? That's that's the thing. You do not have to requalify for an EARL. As long as you have a current VA loan, you are qualified. So you're not going through all of those steps again, requalifying with your income. Let's say you, um, you know, your student loans kicked in or you bought a car in the meantime or something is different with what we call your debt to income ratio. It does not matter. You do not have to requalify with an EARL. You can, it's, that's why they call it. They also refer to it as a streamline refinance. It's, yes. There's only one qualification that I think should be brought to people's attention. That yeah. is, is you have to have the VA loan for 210 days. So oh, that's right. That. It does have a time. Yes, it has a day limit of you can't just refi the day after you close your VA loan. <laughs> Other than <laughs> you know? that. No credit score requirement, no income requirement. So it it is literally the easiest refinance transaction in the market. Uh, very very little to no documentation with this type of refinance. So it's uh it's just another great benefit of the VA home loan. This is something we we sorry go ahead yes. I've seen a lot of benefit over the years of this, mm-hmm. and and I think people want to all right. What's the catch? Too good to be true. But in layman's terms. If you qualify today and you buy a home and your rate is seven and a quarter, but you pay five and a quarter, six and a quarter, and eventually seven and a quarter, somewhere down the road, the rates come down. You can just float down to that rate. Now, there's some fees involved, but do you have to come out of pocket for those fees? No, absolutely. All, everything can be lo- uh, rolled into the to the loan, so you don't have to bring it to the table. Okay, so no additional money to float down. And, you know, I've seen where, you know, somewhere in a year or so afterwards, you've recaptured all those fees and, and yet again, a lower down payment. In your example, 
you know, two percent is like almost four hundred bucks. So you you can recover those pretty quickly. Yes, and again, the funding fee that I talked about earlier with the purchase, the VA funding fee does apply in this for an Earl as well. However, it's much lower. It's just half a percent, and it also can be rolled into closing costs. You can just roll it into the back end. So, um, yeah, that a lot of veterans do. They just choose to. You can bring you can bring some of these costs to the table if you'd like, but many many people just choose to roll it into the loan balance. So many of our veterans, that they come back and they get a home and maybe they're single or small family. And in two, three years down the road, there's additional, there, there's kids, there's additional things. They bought a vehicle, they've gone back to school. I mean, you know, all these things cost money. And so it's, it's got to be comforting to know that you don't have to requalify. So if a student loan kicked in, as, as you guys mentioned, or they bought a nice car, they don't have to live an impoverished life worried about the refi down the road. That part's already taken care of. The only, it's already only, taken care of. For 210 days, if the rate's lower, they get it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Please. And this is another enormous benefit of, of the VA, VA loans, um, Earl. It's in other types of refinances, people do have to qualify again to refinance. They do have to go through the steps again. Everyone else does, but not our military members. And I just, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't be uh, more proud of this product and, and happy that it's offered. Steve, I would like to maybe have you get your crystal ball out for a second, <laughs> but we're looking forward and backward because <laughs> so I want to predict the future where interest rates will be. Um, so we won't attempt to do that, but if we use the past, the last three, four times, interest rates have spiked enormously like they have. Something happened, what, 14, 18 months down the road? Walk yeah. us through that. Yeah, so if you want to follow history, and history actually tells a very, very good story. It's been consistent. Um, you know, when interest rates go up, typically it's inflation. Inflation is associated with that. And every time in history when we've started to see high inflation rates, guess what moved with them? Mortgage rates. Um, it's just the natural progression. But as you curb the inflation, as you start to control it and you decrease inflation along the way, you start to see mortgage rates drop. So, you know, if we're in a market ever where there is high inflation or inflation is going up or inflation is going down, you're most likely going to see the mortgage rates follow that, that path. And, you know, in recent history, we've seen pretty high inflation, right? So our interest rates have gone up quite a bit. What's going to happen? My personal opinion is I think that uh, within the next six months, we're going to start seeing rates drop because inflation is going to be curved. It's going to be not completely gone, but it's going to start to decline a little bit. And within the next 12 to uh, let's call it 18 months, I think that we'll probably drop 2% plus within the, uh, within the mortgage 30 year fixed. So what it, what, what I'm noticing and, and, and go with me on this. You're saving almost $400 a month on the mortgage payment, and you're getting a rate that is likely to happen in the next few years because that's what history tells us. Yeah. But along the way, everything that you are paying for right now is going to be less expensive over the next year or two years. So not only are you saving 400 bucks a month in your mortgage, everything you buy at the grocery store, everything you spend is going down too. So that savings is actually more than the 400 bucks. By the time you go into the next mortgage rate, You've got a couple of different building savings vehicles, which will yeah. allow you more things in your life. Yeah, and check this out. You know, we're, we're, we're dealing with a 2-1 buy-down in this one, you know, webinar, this educational series that we're doing. Let's just say that you get into a 2-1 buy-down. You have two years of that buy-down that is prepaid. But if you refinance within the first year, guess what? Whatever's remaining in that little escrow balance, that comes back to you. So it could be paid down principal. It could go towards your closing costs. You know, there's a benefit to that. You're not going to lose that money. In all yes. likelihood, we're going to see rates drop within the next 12 to 18 months. So people that get into homes today with the 2-1 buy-down will have a surplus of a, you know, maybe a little bit of cash that they can put towards certain things when they do refinance. That's awesome. Now, yes. Lauren, is there a... Is there a limit on this? Is this just for like first time home buyers or starter homes or is there a limit on how big a property you can buy? There is no, there's no limit for the VA loan. No, there's no loan limit there. So if I was a veteran and wanted to buy a $2 million property or whatever that number is, as long as I qualified for it, as long as you qualify, I can use this program. Correct. correct. 
Mm-hmm. Pretty awesome, right? Yes. I would think so. Uh, Lauren, uh, I, is there anything that we didn't talk about that you would love to tell everybody today? No, you know what? I just wanted to say as agents, please do, please be open to the VA loan when you're, when you're looking at offers on your homes. Uh, when you have buyers with a VA loan, please know that this is a very solid, solid loan product, solid offer, qualified buyers. Um, and your sellers are not going to be disappointed, uh, if they choose to sell a home to one of our veterans. Uh, it's it's just a wonderful product all all around, and we couldn't be prouder to offer it. So, I I, I love your passion for this, and, mm-hmm. and, and yes. thank you, Steve. Yes. What would you tell everybody? Yeah, I, I have a lot of things that I would say. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, if we're going to go along these lines, I would say take care of your veterans, take care of your military members, do everything you can to be creative to help them get into that home. Because guess what? They gave you a lot that you don't even realize they gave to you. Um, they served for us. We have our freedom. We're in the land of the free, right? So let's give back to them in any way possible. That's what we try to do. Uh, you can do it too. So we're here to support you in any way. Even if you just have questions, you don't necessarily have to use us, but if you have questions, we're here to help. I love, I love your spirit of contribution, Steve. Uh, you know, we talked about triple threat at the beginning. Uh, you know, hey, no down payment. Seller can pay your closing costs. You can do a 2-1 buy-down. It's the second step of it to get a lower payment throughout the mortgage, you know, first two years. And then, you know, the, you know, the big ticking time bomb, the good, the good kind is that you can go refinance it and get an even lower rate down the road. I mean, that's three wins for a veteran that aren't, and this, these are things not necessarily available to everybody out there. It's really specific to the veterans. It's just good to see them getting a win right now. Mm-hmm. Well, Ron, we just want to thank you for actually bringing this to the surface. Uh, you know, this, this was your idea, and of course, we'll run with your ideas, brother, anytime you want. So thanks again for having us. We hope that we were able to help some people out. Lauren, you're amazing. Uh, thanks for doing all that you do as well. Yes, thank you all. This has been wonderful. I love the Wise Home team. So you guys Absolutely. are my, you guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, we'll, hey, look, we love you guys too, and we can't wait to, I know we're going to be seeing you guys in the next month or so as well. Uh, That's right. Appreciate the invite on that. Uh, Lauren, Steve, I can't thank you enough. The spirit of contribution to give back to our veterans, especially this time of year, it's so critical and so important. I'm just humbled to be a part of this with you guys. Great. Thanks a lot, Ron. We appreciate it. Thank you. you. Really. All right. Hey, hey, it's Ron Weissakarski. Thanks for joining us on Real Estate in a Nutshell. And uh, watch for us because we're going to have more available meetings with these two over here to help us through the loan process is because there's more that's going to be able to help people in the future. So signing off, guys. Have an awesome day.